What is everybody down here? And today it is very warm. And since I didn't want to put a VR headset on my face and probably die of a heat stroke because I'll probably melt with this temperature, since we're having a ridiculous heat wave here, I decided we'll try something different. So today I thought I'm gonna sit downstairs and I'll just unbox my new keyboard. This is the Razer Ornata Chroma. Uh, I bought this keyboard in the Razer sale. It's usually $120, I think. And I actually got this one for 60, so that's a great discount. Uh, and Razer always has really nice packaging. So I thought it would be fun to just unbox this now. So I at least have some content. All right, so where do we start with this box? They usually have a very specific way of opening. Uh, I think back here is some tape, which we'll just gently cut. Uh, there's also a way to pull this off, but this is much cleaner and it feels more satisfying. So let's see, let's open the magic box of goodness, which is filled with, ah, a keyboard. I expected the half to be another uh, another box in here, but there's actually a keyboard. So let's just fold this down. Let's see what we got. We have paper, uh, razorzone.com. Excuse me for the weird cut there. My GoPro apparently was reacting to my voice commands and decided to randomly turn itself on and off all the time, which is very annoying because it makes a loud beeping noise. Anyways, we have a book here which just says Ornata Chroma, which is cool. Uh, it has some text in it, everything about the RGB profiles and stuff, which is of course what you buy this keyboard for. Uh, this is not a fully mechanical keyboard, like many of the much more expensive Razer keyboards. This is a mecha membrane, which is basically just a normal keyboard, but it feels more tactile and it has some clicky sound effects. I don't know if you can hear them, but I'll quickly demonstrate. Sounds just a little more clicky than a regular keyboard. And especially if uh, it just feels better on your fingers. It feels more mechanical and it's mushy than some of the actual just normal keyboards do. So that's very nice. Let's see. Oh yeah, we have this other card here, which just has a image of the keyboard we just bought on it. And congratulations and welcome to the next level of gaming by Blah Mark and Talk. Although Razer does do their marketing and styling very well, of course. Um, let's take this thing out of the box, I guess. I think we just lift it out like this. Yes, we do. There's some nice foam on the ends here. Let's see what else we have. Oh yeah, there's also this in here, which we'll get to in a bit. That is the armrest for the keyboard, which this one comes with, which is very nice. I'll just be putting the box on the floor real quick. So here we go. This is it. I'll give you a closer look in a bit. Uh, it's made out of a nice Plastic material, very high quality. It doesn't feel like the, the crappy plastic you can on a lot of cheaper keyboards. It should feel very uh, high quality as well. The keys are a nice matte black finish. This is everything with Razer. And behind the keys, there should be a bunch of lights hidden. So this feels, feels very good. Now, let's get to one of my favorite things about this keyboard, that is this thing. This is a uh, wrist, 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 English. Armrest. Uh, you don't want your arms and wrists to start hurting. So it comes with this thing, which is made out of a, a nice cushiony material. It feels all very high quality. And I think it's, yeah, there's some, there's some magnets in here. So it actually attaches to the keyboard so I can pull it around a bit without it uh, actually detaching, which is great because it's really annoying if you move your arm and the entire keyboard moves. I must say that uh, with this warm weather, it does get a bit sticky, <laughs> just like car suits do with really hot weather. But, you know, could be much worse. It definitely feels very good when you put your, uh, your arms on here. It feels very ergonomic and everything. No strain on my arms, which is uh, pretty damn great. So, here's a slightly closer look at the keyboard. Um, all looks very nice, very high quality stuff. Nice black finish as always. I'll be hooking it up to a computer in a bit to uh, show off the most important part which is, you know, RGB, uh, which is obviously what you buy this keyboard for, because why else would you? But yeah, it looks very nice, very nice and clicky. Very satisfied with this so far. All right, so to set this thing up, I've uh, connected it to my laptop. Uh, the software is currently installing for this thing, but even without the software actually installed, uh, there's actually some RGBing already going on. It's slowly changing colors. It's just cycling through them right now, which already looks absolutely amazing, I have to say. It's currently pink, which is my channel color. So yes, please stay this way. 
Um, the software, which I have over here, is uh, currently doing its best to install. With the software, you can actually change the patterns of the lights and do all sorts of custom stuff, which is really cool. So I'm going to set that up right now and just show you some effects and see what that looks like, which is, you know, also what I'm very excited about. Now, yeah, this is taking a lot longer than I thought. I guess I'll just go and, go and get some coffee or whatever. I'll be back eventually. Done yet? Oh wait, it is done. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see what we've got. I need a password to use my keyboard. Keyboard? Yes, apparently I need to log in to use this keyboard, so I guess we're going to do that. Alright, so the application is now gone after I logged in. Uh, where is it? We're currently on Spectrum Sighting, which is just, you know, this. It's just going through all the colors. Let's see what happens if we uh, make some changes. Fire sounds cool. Give us fire. Oh, wow. If you look at the keyboard now, it's actually sort of trying to look like fire. Uh, that actually looks kind of cool. Kind of looks like my keyboard is on fire on the inside as well. It's almost con as convincing as I hoped it would have been, but it's something. Um, let's see what else we got. Wave. Wave looks cool. Ooh, yes, the classic. The classic RGB look. And there's a constant flow of very quickly moving uh, colors moving across your keyboard. Ooh, that's really cool. I love this one. This looks... This one looks really sick. I, I, I really appreciate what we've got going on here. It's, it's a bit busy, you know? Why does it keep changing back to fire? That's better. Nice. You know, branding colors. Looks really cool. Can you imagine if you're actually uh, playing a game and you're using WASD? Uh, it's, it's, it probably gets really annoying when this is in your peripheral vision all the time. But yeah, it does for sure look kind of sick. But yeah, that is the keyboard. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I know it was a little bit different from my normal content, but it was just way too hot to put a VR headset on my face right now. Luckily, it'll cool down soon and I'll just be back to making regular old videos. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.